Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a wide angle lens for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Now this is the official wide angle lens for the Mini 3 Pro. This is right from DJI. Last week, the Mini 3 Pro received a firmware update and one of the features that was added is support for the wide angle lens. Basically, when you install the lens, the drone knows it is installed. As you can see in this little clip here, you get a message up at the top right hand side. It also disables some features such as panoramas. This lens is not overly heavy and it still keeps your drone under 250 grams. So in this video we're going to take a look at some sample footage. We're going to talk about whether it's worthwhile to pick up an accessory like this and we're going to talk about some of the negative aspects when using a lens like this. But before we get too far here I'll just show you how to install it in case you're new to this. Basically the camera on the Mini 3 Pro has this kind of cover on it. To remove it, you just twist it counterclockwise and it pulls right off. You can then take your wide angle lens. Just make sure the lens side is on the side where the camera is. You can see it's a little bit offset there. So you just want to make sure you have it the right way around. And then you just place it over top, just at a bit of an angle there, and then twist it to lock it in. And another quick note here, DJI really knows how to make cases for lenses. Even for their ND filters, they're just nice, compact, minimal, which is really nice. You don't need a lot of extra space just for a lens. So good job on DJI for the designing of the case. It's just a small little detail, but a, a nice little touch. And also just to show you here, we got the wide angle lens installed and uh, we'll just put it on a scale there. You can see 249 grams exactly. Now what we're going to do here is look at some footage. We're going to do some comparisons. What this wide angle lens does, it allows you to fit more of your scene, basically more data in the frame. The Mini 3 Pro actually has a fairly narrow field of view compared to some other drones at DJI sell. When capturing video, the field of view is 75 degrees. And that's compared to the Air 2S, which has an 88 degree field of view, and the Mavic 3, which has an 84 degree field of view. Now I'm just on the spec page here for the wide angle lens for the Mini 3 Pro. And you can see here, when you have the wide angle lens installed, you expand your field of view when in photo mode from 81 to 114 degrees, technically 81.5. And from video, you're going from 75 degrees all the way up to 100 degrees. So you are getting a substantial increased field of view. Now that extra field of view does come at a cost because you are going to get some distortion. If you've ever used something like a GoPro action camera, you know when you have it on the very extreme wide fields of view, you do get some distortion around the edges especially when you have the camera at an angle. And we'll take a look at that here in a second. Now, when it comes to wide angle lenses, they can be very important for handheld photography. Cameras have a limited field of view, and sometimes you have limited space in which you can capture a large amount of data. The thing with a drone is that it's up in the air, so if you need to get more of the scenery around you, it's pretty easy just to move the drone into a new position. However, the wide angle lens still can be quite beneficial because you might be filming in an area where moving the drone is just not possible. There might be buildings around, but you're trying to get some nice scenery, or perhaps you're doing a straight down shot and you're already at your maximum 400 feet. The wide angle lens will allow you to capture more data. And on top of that, it doesn't give you as much foreground information. Now I'll kind of give you an example here in a minute, but say you're trying to capture a mountain range off in the distance, but you're not quite getting exactly what you want. You want to get a little bit more in there. You would actually have to move your drone back quite a bit just to make those slight increases when not using a wide angle lens. And then what might happen there is you might start getting foreground stuff in there that you don't want perhaps a parking lot, other buildings that you don't want in the shot. So that's where something like a wide angle lens can come in really handy and be very beneficial. Now I've done some comparisons here just so you can see the difference and I've done it at a few different locations and I'll play it full screen for you so you can get a better look at it. This first scene here, I'm just hovering at about 40 meters. On the left hand side is just a standard lens on the Mini 3 Pro and on the right hand side we have the wide angle lens attached. And as you can see, it does fit quite a bit more of the scene in the shot. But what you will notice, the horizon is nice and straight. There's no distortion there. But what you will notice where that front cornfield is, you can see with the wide angle lens, there's a bit of a bow in it. That's the wide angle lens adding some distortion. Now, when you're filming scenery, you don't really notice it as much. Areas with a lot of straight lines, that's when it will be more prevalent. Now, that's just some video comparison with the drone just stationary, hovering up in the air. Now, this next sample here is a photo. This was just taken in standard photo mode. Again, you can see how it increases the field of view. And just like when we are shooting video, you can see a little bit of distortion in that cornfield. There's a little bit of curve on the edge. Now this next sample here, same thing. We've got the drone hovering about 40 meters, but this time we're flying forward just so you can see what it looks like with the movement. For myself, I find the clarity is about the same in both. I didn't notice any kind of uh, discoloration. Uh, maybe in the edges, it's a little bit softer. 
Uh, but what I do notice is that there's a little bit of color cast in the sky. You can see the sky looks a little bit warmer, um, you know, so that's kind of a personal preference thing. And that's something you can adjust in the color temperature if you set your white balance. Both were set the exact same at 5500. But if you find it's still looking a little too warm, you could just knock it down a little bit. Now here's another sample. This time I'm at a park in the city. And again here the drone is just hovering this time at about 70 meters, I believe it was. And you can see that it is a much wider field of view. And again, you can really notice that color cast. You can look at the sky on the right hand side, which is using the wide angle lens. In this one, it just has a bit darker of a tone to it. So something just to keep in mind. And for our last comparison here, we are just flying forward up a river. And again, on the right hand side is the wide angle lens. And on the left hand side is just the standard lens. And they both look pretty good. Uh, just the sky is a little bit darker. It almost has like a purpley tinge to it. Now, just a couple quick notes here before I go. A couple things to keep in mind when using this wide angle lens. As mentioned, you will get a fair amount of distortion in your video, depending on how you have the camera angled. If you have your camera pointing straight ahead, you're not gonna have too much of an issue. But as soon as you turn the camera down or up, you're gonna notice your horizon's gonna get quite a curve to it. And as mentioned, if you're filming anything that has a lot of straight lines, that's when you're really gonna notice it. Other than that, all the functionality and intelligent flight modes other than panoramas seem to work just fine. You're able to capture hyperlapses. You can use the focus track system, such as point of interest, spotlight, and even tracking. Master shots works beautifully, and the camera can even film in vertical mode. You can still make use of that wide angle lens when filming in vertical. But again, you will get a significant amount of distortion depending on what you're filming. So that's basically a quick look at the wide angle lens for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Again, this is the official one right from DJI. There are many third party ones available on Amazon. I can't really speak on their behalf because I haven't tested them out. I do believe I have one coming from Freewell. So perhaps I will maybe do a comparison of the two wide angle lenses just to see if there's any difference between the two. Well, folks, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.